Welcome. Thank you for being here. Okay, so let's talk about uh, Tai Chi and Qigong. And uh, we're going to look through the eyes of China and its ancient traditions and martial and healing arts. And we're going to uh, be working on integrating our energy, our mind, our body, and um, you know, bringing health and fitness and healing into our lives through these practices. Some are very dynamic and very exercise and stretching like, and some are very subtle and still and meditative like, uh, but they all have uh, very powerful uh, benefits. So uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, strengthening the body and uh, its healing properties and tendencies. We're gonna be looking at how to calm the mind and get out of uh, um, random thoughts and hyperactivity into more of a coherent, focused state of being, uh, moving from beta state uh, brainwave uh, patterns into alpha state and sometimes theta, deeper meditative states. So we're gonna be looking at that process of the body, the mind, and then uh, looking to temper and balance our emotional states so um, we don't experience as much upheaval we can receive and sense and feel uh, without overreacting. So we're gonna be looking at how to maintain our center. And most of this is done through the power of the breath. So we'll be talking a lot about breath, a lot about energy. Um, you know, in China it's referred to as qi, as vital essence, as life force. Uh, but you can think of also in terms of physics and biochemistry and bioenergies. So it's all the same stuff. Um, so in that same process, we're going to be looking at how to establish balance and return to long-term thriving, which is our inherent state. Uh, a lot of times we're caught up in fight or flight and freeze uh, reaction in the body where we're, we're tense, we're stressed, shows up as breakdowns, uh, as emotional distress, uh, mental distress, things like that. So we want to move out of the short-term survival mechanism that ensures our species survival in heightened states of uh, danger into long-term thriving where we can move into that inner calm, that inner focus. And uh, what better way to do it? Well, there's so many great ways to do it, um, but we're going to be doing Tai Chi and Qigong. So I hope you enjoy uh, the journey and uh, we'll talk some more. Namaste.